great to talk about RB Wagner and their involvement in Export Tech. They were uh, one of our first companies in our uh, inaugural sessions back in 2010, and uh, they had come in with uh, some, you know, good um, sales to Canada and some uh, sales also to the UK. And uh, they were at, uh, they were facing the downward. Um, uh, downward pressures in their domestic market where things were going down in the construction industry here in the U.S. We're a family-owned company. My great-great-grandfather came to Milwaukee in 1848 as a metal worker. My grandfather was a metal worker, my father was a metal worker, and I guess Russ is in my blood. Eighty-five percent of our business is architecturally based. Um, components for handrail systems, fences, um, decorative components. Uh, we do make custom handrailing systems. Uh, latest product line includes uh, lit handrail. The other 15 or 20 percent of our business is industrial product. Export Tech is uh, a program that uh, is a national program for the MEP system. Uh, WMEP got involved in 2009 when we did a next generation manufacturing survey in Wisconsin and we found that nine out of ten manufacturers in the state of Wisconsin didn't even have global and export on their radar screen. 95% of the consumers are now outside of the United States. We have always exported a bit. We, we, we uh, have a catalog business that's fairly robust in, in North America, and so we've always had a little bit of business going to Canada. What Export Tech does is it takes a company through a three-month process to develop an export expansion strategy. We want to figure out what are your best three or four countries that has the best opportunity for your product with um, the greatest ROI and the least amount of risk to your company to get out there. We had the opportunity to, to join the, the first class of Export Tech, and we suddenly realized that um, what, what hadn't gone away was Canada. They were not strong, but the, the sales hadn't dropped off. It was the only place in our business where the sales hadn't dropped off. So R.B. Wagner came in with uh, a little bit of a start on exporting, learning how to do it, and uh, we kind of took them through the process and we said, okay, well, what really are the best countries for you? And uh, let's do some market research, let's look at where your stair rails and your products are needed, uh, where, where building is increasing, where things are moving forward, and uh, where could we go? And uh, we found that we could increase the UK, we could increase Canada, and uh, they found a, a global glass show in Germany that really helped them understand more markets internationally. At the same time, we're getting our products specced in, in Qatar and the United Emirates and places like that that we, um, we just never thought were, were going to be viable for us, but, but we've been exporting there. It actually helps the leadership team take a look at all of the aspects that they may need to know about an international and learn about some of the partners that are available in our state, the resources that are available, and, uh, and key information that can help them from logistics to legal issues to protecting their IP to learning about what to do with their website to learning about how to find dealers and distributors effectively, how to scorecard them, how to um, you know, make sure that their, their performance is adequate in the countries that they're working for you in and it just pulled together a whole strategy and program over a three-year period that's going to have um, a, you know, an impact to the bottom line, some return on the investment for doing it. They've not only um, had their top executives come through Export Tech, but when they've come back to their company, they've actually um, had other folks within the whole company learn the aspects of international that'll make them more effective. For example, their shipping people or their customer service people, really driving the strategy down as part of the fabric of the company. And long term, when you do that, and it's it's you know a part of the holistic strategy of the company, it's not just the uh, the CEO's pet project. It becomes something that everyone in the company is trying to look forward to, and uh, and figure out how to maximize, how to make it better. I think one of the unique facets of Export Tech is that typically we have up to eight non-competitive co companies together going through and creating strategy. Uh, while they're doing that, they're meeting each other, they're meeting uh, companies that are non-competitive to them, watching them uh, try to work through what countries are important to them, and they become a set of resources to each other. What's been interesting is along the way you meet all these other people in the marketplace, and that, that's really you know, the, the 
big deal is to go and engage the marketplace. Going to the glass show and meeting all these people from all over the world has been very beneficial to us. They've been on a, um, a roadmap now for the last three or four years, which has brought them increasing gains in their revenues through export, and, uh, and they've had a great journey. We're very proud of what they've done and very excited to see where they're going. The middle class and the rest of the world has developed tremendously over the last 20 years, and there's way more out there than there is here. So the opportunity uh, to, to serve new markets is phenomenal. Yeah, it takes some time, but, but it's really well spent time.